Told you all we have a special guest. It's Lucy Birch Hello. joining us from Odyssey, giving out some picks. Hello, gentlemen. Great to have you in the studio with us. So, Lucy, I mean, before we even get into getting some of your picks for this weekend in the NFL, excited for London? Uh, I am so excited. For the London game. <laughs> so I am excited for London because the game, I do have a pick in the game, yeah. but the game is, you know, as we say, the toilet bowl. It's going to be, it's two great teams. So very, very excited for the game itself, but also for it to be in London. So I, I do follow the royal family. I am oh. a royal family watcher. Okay. So all things London, I am aware of. And uh, you know, I have been following it for a long time. So mm. I do know what crumpets are. Mm. I do know what a fascinator <laughs> is, which is the small hat you wear to special occasions uh. wouldn't be shocked to see some people wearing fascinators at this game which you should you should wear this because it's a special occasion fascinators like a, to an nfl game sounds dirty like a little this is true sounds like wrong. a little football like fascinator they oh, should okay. sell patriots fascinators at the game i guess it's, it's like a, a one in hat. london thing yes it is and you, you wear it's like you clip it into your head basically i had one because trap can't do that no uh, you i can't could, you could stick it on. i'm follically challenged okay that's fair but you could stick it onto your head you know there's all the decorum in london does state to wear things like that so you know for the royal wedding in 2012 oh prince william and kate i did dress up for it wore a fascinator so I have some ah. experience in this. So I'm excited for the London game. Yes. So what will you be doing for the game in your own space? Are you going to yes. be, are you sipping tea and crumpets? Are you wearing the fascinator? What are we doing <laughs> yes. for the game? Yes. So I will be getting my fascinator out. I did have one for the second royal wedding, though, though I'm not a big fan of that wedding in itself. But I did have one for that one. So I might get that one out. Be drinking tea, obviously. Tea. Wait, was that Prince Harry? Was that yeah, a Prince that Harry shot? Harry I caught that shot. Yeah. I don't know not, how I Not the it, biggest fan. But I knew it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's okay. It's, you know, I've, I've kind of fallen off of following that, but because I have things to do, you know, but I, um, I will be getting that out. Drinking yeah. tea, obviously, tea, obviously, and perhaps crumpets because you can buy crumpets. And oh, like, you can. You can. Luce, he, he left his family for Meghan Markle. I can't blame him. Here's, I cannot blame uh, him at all. Oh, boy. Oh, Meghan boy. Markle. I mean, it's, she's I mean it's Meghan Markle. She's beautiful, she's beautiful, though. I'm not leaving my family, this, bro. This, he's going to get the money no matter <laughs> what. He has more freedom. He this does. Is a, this is a but football podcast, but I like where <laughs> this is going. I can turn anything <laughs> into the royal family. It's Meghan Markle. I listened to his entire audiobook. I bought the audiobook of his book, and I listened to the whole thing. I had a British accent by the end of it, which was fine. <laughs> but he it sounds deranged in this book where he, <laughs> it's like these stories that don't even, like, it is so in the weeds of stories stuff that I was I do not feel bad for him I do not feel bad for him I, ain't I don't, I don't feel bad for him he's still a millionaire and he has Correct. Meghan Markle my family ain't even royal and I ain't leaving my family yeah his family she's fine his George, family. but I ain't leaving my I family. think at some point he might go back there and who knows which members of the royal family we'll see at this game by That's. the way you know I think William could be there they do enjoy sports so all right. I so, think we could see some sightings so let's see our, we'll see there's probably bets out there on who will be spotted oh this is a good point Pat's Jaguar spreads uh, around five and a half depending where you're shocking please. Shopping. What are you liking for this game? So I like the Patriots plus five and a half. Good. And I was toss up between taking the Patriots or not betting this at all because I didn't know where to go with this because the Patriots uh, surprise you at how low they can go, yep. you know? So I thought, why don't I just skip it? But then I thought, no. This is a good spot. If they are going to get two wins this season, this could be one of them. Mm -hmm. Patriots plus five and a half. I think this is this is the spread is a big enough number that mm -hmm. they could even keep it close. They mm -hmm. could keep it within a field goal maybe, or win outright win the game. So I feel like this will be a Patriots cover at least. Patriots plus five and a half. Really high total on this one. Depending yes. where you look, you find 49, 51. I like yep. the over on this one. I, just I think love the both over defense here. are suspect. Both quarterbacks can throw it to a ton. Yep. Obviously, the Jaguars have a lot more firepower. That's why I go either way on the side. It did open three and a half, and then now it's up to five and a half. So it is a great number to catch a pats at. It is. And the over I like very much. The Jaguars have one of the worst defenses. They have the in worst pass the defense. Run defense yeah. is okay. Drake Patriots May. defense can't stop anyone. Right. So the over is, I think, the play here. And Drake May, I think, will be slinging it. So I think that, that the over is very good. I love it. I'm taking a five and a half points because I'm love sorry. It. The Jaguars are not five and a half points better yeah. than any damn body because their team stinks. They do. They stink. This is why this game is going to be fascinating to me. People, they, a lot of people have one win. One win. I see. I'm telling you, a lot of people are like, this game is going to be awful. I am fascinated <laughs> by this game. This game is going to be interesting. It's going to be bad football. 
It's going to be bad, but it also because might... of Drake May, there is a fascination aspect. Of to course, it. if it was Jacoby Brissett, it would be like ugly, bad football around. Yes. Like the worst yeah. way to start your day. At least we're going to see two talented quarterbacks that can throw the ball a ton playing. It's very true. There's a tune-in factor to this, I think. You got any more of them bets? Yeah, I do. I have one more bet. I do have one more bet. I love them bets. I certainly do. Well, Drake May, speaking of, speaking of Drake May, over 205 and a half passing yards for Drake May. He hit this in his debut, and I think he will do this again. No concerns about the knee. Mm -hmm. MRI or not, who knows? He was walking without a limp. Whether or not that was staged, I, th- I think the no, I think the MRI was like a floozy ass report. But he definitely I was, was on the injury report. No braces, yeah. no knee sleeves, moving around fine. Love it. The MRI thing was complete BS. I That's think. what I, I, I figured. Drake May's gonna be okay. Yeah, you know Ben Volan's good reporter, but you know mm-hmm. it's it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, MRI or no, I have uh, no concerns at all about yeah. Drake May in this game. I think this will be. A massive game for Drake May, and that's why I think the Patriots will win. I think it could have consequences for maybe more the Jaguars and who they fire, perhaps, should they lose. Because I don't think Gerard Mayo is going to get fired if they lose this game. So I would think it has more consequences for the Jaguars should they lose. So more on the line for them, though I don't think Robert Kraft wants the Patriots to lose another international game. I told George, I I thought Doug Peterson's ass should have been fired in London last week. I I know you're a Lions backer, as am I. I have a ticket on the Lions to win the Super Bowl, although I have concerns with Hutch being out on a bad defense. He was your one stud. Now he's gone. I don't know. Do you like the Lions against the Vikings, though? Because the Vikings have yet to lose a game. Do you think – I saw a plus two for the Lions. Do you feel like the Lions are going to win this game outright? Are you on the money line? Are you taking the two? Do you think the Vikings get it done? Where are you at on this game? So I'm taking the two here. Lions plus two. The Lions can play teams closer. Let's say they lose by one even. I am so much more comfortable taking Lions plus two rather than money line um, in terms of the Lions. And Hutch Mm -hmm. is uh, concerned. Yes, I am a Lions backer. And then that began when Eminem was on Hard Knocks two years ago and he was in the Lions. (laughs) I remember and I, it happens to be Eminem's birthday today. It's hey, a very good day, and it was he's Trav's a birthday like yesterday. Me, baby. There Let's go. go, M. Exactly, exactly. Um, and he also will be a grandfather, and he was told this through a Lions jersey that said "Grandpa" on nice. the back of it. Congrats. So Lions Super Bowl win, obviously. But because li- everything's lining up for Eminem. Correct. Yeah. This is George, exactly George' favorite Eminem yeah. song. Mine's Superman. Uh, oh, Superman. Video. Yeah, Superman's a good one. That's a great one. What's one? Lose yourself. That's a Classic. karaoke. That is one of wrong. them. That's no. one of them. Yes. Spaghetti, spaghetti. You can't go wrong. You can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not how it goes. That's how it goes. That's how it starts. Actually, that's yeah. what they made. Yeah, George. They built the whole eight mile movie off of that line. Yeah. From that's how it begins. <laughs> spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> Lions plus two against that good Vikings defense. Yes. It is interesting though. You say they stick in it, yeah. even with Aiden Hutchinson going down. Yep. Correct. So the Vikings, of course, have a better record, and this is why I went back and forth on this as well because the Vikings are very good but the lions step up in places where they need to and mm. i have a lot of faith in them to do that and especially mm. with hutch out and he left during the game but it, they also scored a lot of points in that game so mm. i have a lot of faith in the lions to cover this against you know a vi- and they also dan campbell it, dan campbell is a big quotes guy he's a big hype vibes yep. guy but the way he has been talking <laughs> leading up to this game is very pragmatic very uh we have to stay calm we know the challenge ahead of us this will Will be a challenge but they are ready for it so i think mentally they will be prepared they know how uh big of a challenge this will be so mentally they'll be prepared jared goff my mvp pick mm-hmm. most underrated quarterback in the league Agreed. right now so I, I think with yes he is so He's i think with, the quarterback <laughs> rolodex in my head you know it's, it's true just, george it's just Jared Goff. He loves Jared I think it. he's like rightfully rated. <laughs> Jared Goff. I think he's, no, I think he's he just is, like, he's the, like, they, you know. It he's right. the best quarterback in the league. So I would say, and many don't say that. So underrated. Um, so that is my MVP pick. So behind Jared Goff, I think they can beat the Vikings. Jared Goff Inside. and Bo Nix is George's dream no, quarterback. Right? I do not hate Jared go. Goff. I do not. Sounds do like not, you do. It sounds do like you hate Jared, Jared Goff, Goff in there with Bo Nix. <laughs> sounds like you hate him. Bo Nix is terrible. <laughs> I'm still laying the points with the Broncos because I still like that pick. I know Trav like wants to ask you about some futures. Oh, yeah, yeah please. Uh, well, I just – look, we talked about the Lions and all that is cute, right? But it's cute. I, with Hutch out, I need an alternative. Give me no, somebody. Give me someone in the NFC. The NFC is wide open. Uh, George yeah. likes the Packers. I can't really argue him, even though I'm a Lions backer. It's a it's a logical pick. I think the Bucks. I saw the Bucks at seventeen to one in a wide open NFC with Baker Mayfield, Todd yeah. Bowles. Feels like there's something there. 
give me your backup plan to the backup plan. If it doesn't yes. work for the Lions, who do you see in the NFC? Yes. Yeah, so let's say disaster occurs and the Lions do not win the Super Bowl. The Bucks is not a bad choice. Okay. So there is something with the way Baker Mayfield woke up when he said that the way Tom Brady ran or was in this team and created an atmosphere where everyone was scared and they still won a Super Bowl, but everyone was scared and they brought me in to let everyone relax and yeah. not everyone's not stressful. As Tom Brady was responding to these comments on the broadcast, mm. Baker Mayfield had a fantastic game and kind of showed him, you know what, you can do it two ways. Yeah. You can all win two ways. So something within Baker Mayfield woke <coughs> up. He has a chip on his shoulder. He has something to prove. Oh, yeah. Because when Tom Brady left and retired, people said, well, now the Buccaneers are back to mediocrity and mm -hmm. obscurity and nobody is going to care about them. And Baker Mayfield came in and said, no, 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 I am going to keep this team relevant. And I think he really has a mission to do that. So the Buccaneers is not a bad choice. Yeah, especially with the defense that can get healthy and obviously has a great True. receiving group, running games emerging, great offensive lineman as well, and Tristan Wirfs. I mean, Baker's got that moxie. He's got that big game in him. So he does. I, that is now the NFC with the Lions didn't have a good defense. All they had was the pressures that Aiden Hutchinson was generating. He's the best at his position in the NFL this season. That's a huge loss. I'm interested to see what they add at the deadline. Yeah. But this is when you look outside. Who are the other teams that can emerge? Buccaneers, certainly one of them. All right, she's fun. Lucy Burge of Odyssey. Appreciate you hopping on Foxborough oh, Rush. Thank this you. is a fun one. This was so much fun. You guys. The education on London now. We're going to go get our fasteners. <laughs> yeah, cheerio, time. guys. To toodles, toodaloo. She's Lucy Burge. He's Travis <laughs> Cheerio. I'm George Belletti. Hi, Megan Markle. This is Foxborough Rush. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.